Sirach chapter 2 verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy long-suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction first and foremost I want to give all praise honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessing, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. My God's with people here for a bear. It's all about fearing the Lord. At the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, throughout the day, it's all about fearing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Bible. Look at the generations of old, Daniel and the lions dead, Meshach, Shamrach, and the Ben. Look, look, and all these stories are true. You, I mean, you have to have faith to believe in them, but all these uh, stories are true, man. All right? King David being delivered from his enemies. All right? Elijah being delivered from his enemies. Elisha being delivered from his enemies, from mockers and scoffers. Jeremiah being delivered. It's so full of a song, man. Look at the generations of old. So Rock chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of O and C. The Lord's like, go all the way back. Look, look, can't, can't forget Noah. He was showing up, delivered in that ark. Look, Lot. He was delivered from the fire and brimstone by the angels. They, why? Because they feared the Lord, man. It says Noah moved with fear. Lot moved with fear. All the men of the Lord move with fear. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust have faith, believed in the Lord, and was confounded, was put to shame. The Lord ain't, ain't never put an Israelite to shame that believed on him, that called upon him, right? Or did any abide in his fear? That's what it's all about at the end of the day, that fear. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise, meaning hate, that called upon him? None. None. And you know, we most definitely starting off with the head apostles and elders of great millstone. We constantly calling on the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Constantly, man. See, that's, that's one name we, we are not playing around with. We don't play around with that name right there. We need that name. Remember, it's only one name up under heaven you can call on to be saved. Oh, whom did he ever despise and called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and pitiful, and forgiveth sins. That's why that's why we must fear you have by Shimei Shai. They're the only ones that can forgive you for your sins. Your transgressions, your breaking of the laws. No, no man on earth can do it. And saveth in the time of affliction, and saveth. They look, they save in the time of affliction. Yahweh Bashim Yahushak can deliver you, can save you. All right, look, that's what the scripture just said. And look, and so what if some don't believe, right? So what if you Negroes, Latinos, and they make any don't believe it? Don't matter, man. At the end of the day, it don't even matter what you think. You see, Acts chapter 2. Verse 21, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we just read that, right? He saveth in the time of affliction. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call you Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, see, and, and then you know who is talking about the Israelites. Ye men of Israel, right? Hear these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High among you, 
by miracles and wonders and signs which the Most High did, did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. So the Lord did miracles. He performed miracles in front of people. And we got the record. We got the record. And look, these are just some of the things that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai did. He ain't, he ain't even performed. Look, man, all the miracles that he performed, you couldn't even write them in a book. The scriptures tell you that, man. But at the end of the day, well, look, it's all about the fear of the Lord. Let's get that Psalms. Matter of fact, Proverbs right quick. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is the beginning of knowledge. See, fearing the God of the Bible is the beginning of knowledge. Akim, Wa Akwath, Akwathium. Fearing the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Wake up, fearing the Lord. Thank the Lord that He put His fear on you, because that's the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's why every time we make a video, a scoffer gonna come. Every time we out there on the highways and byways, a mocker gonna come. But, but eventually, you know what? They're going to be taken off the earth. They look, they're going to be taken clean off the earth, man. Like, like, whoop. Like, whoop. Psalms, chapter 2, verse 11. And it reads, Serve the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh with fear. And rejoice with trembling. So that's how you serve the Lord, with fear. You walk around like you're walking around on eggshells, man. All right? You tread in lightly and rejoice with trembling. Remember, tremble at these words. Tremble at the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Kiss the sun. This he be angry. And you perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. But then we just read that in Sarah, the second chapter. Blessed are all those that trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai favor. You know, the word blessed goes back to favor, man. Look, look, quick little lesson. I tried at least three, four times out the week. However, the Lord permits to do lessons on fear. Because at the end of the day, it's all about fearing the Lord. You know, St. Luke 12 and 5. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Our people fear the government. They fear man. You know. They fear Sleazy E. They fear Uncle E. No, the Lord said, I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him, which have, which after he have killed, have power to cast into hell, which is, which is condition played out on earth. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. The Lord can make you a paraplegic. Bring you back in another body. Bring you back in another body. That's why that's why Joshua, you know what I'm saying, said, look, as for me and my household, we're gonna fear you how by Shim Yahweh Shai, Deuteronomy. Chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I am I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any. Any now. They can deliver out of my hand. Buddha can't deliver you. Allah, Satama, Red, the Hindu God of Shiva, the names that we name every day. You know? None of them Kemet gods. Look, all of them idols. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get that too. I'm going to get that. All the gods of the nations are idols. Let's get this. Psalms 96 4. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared. Uh, but what? He is to be feared. What? He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, made the heavens. Jumping down to verse 8. Psalm chapter 96, verse 8. Give unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the glory due unto his name. So you glorify that name, you praise that name, those high holy names in the Hebrew tongue, those proper names in the Hebrew tongue, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. 
bringing offering, which is your body, making your body a living sacrifice, and come into his courts. Remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Look, look, that judgment. Look, look, what does it, it say? The prudent man foreseeth the evil. We see what the Lord is doing upon the earth. This ain't no game. This ain't no game. The Lord, the Lord taking souls back, man. The Lord coming through requiring souls, man. Let's get this. Sirach chapter 11. Sirach chapter 11, verse 14. And it reads, prosperity and adversity. Whether you live in a good life or whether you catch a pure hell. Life or death, whether you live or whether you die. Poverty, riches, money, a bum on the street. Come of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem you Remember, it's a fearful thing to fall when, when, a, when an entity has power over your very existence. You fear that a power that controls if you breathe or not, a power that controls if you walk or not, speak, see, hear, have lights, water, a roof over your head. Look, you fear an entity like that, man. Wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the law or of the Lord. Love and the way of good works are from him, man. Eh? You know? It says error and darkness have their beginning together with sinners. And evil, meaning bad times, shall wax old with them their glory therein. So 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 you see what's happening. All the Israelites that are glorying, glorifying wickedness or, and indulging in wickedness, you see what the Lord is doing. He's taking them the hell out, man. Now look, that, that's exactly what's going on right about now. Yahweh by Shem is taking the Israelites, the rebellious Israelites, take, taking them off the earth. Just taking them clean off the earth, man. You know? Just taking them clean off the earth. Ecclesiastes 8 and 12 Though a sinner do evil in a hundred times And his days be prolonged Yet surely I know That it shall be well with them That fear the Most High Which fear before Him See, it's going to go well with those That fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai Look, it says it's going to go well Israel If you fear the God of the Bible It's going to go well with you Look, that's what, that's what the Lord said the Lord, the Lord says it's going to go well with you if you fear him. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. Yahweh by Shem Shai. So once again, at the end of the day, it's all about the fear of the Lord. Do, look, do you fear the Lord? That, that needs to be your next question. Do you fear the Lord? Deuteronomy 10, 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee commands of us? But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushad thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul, and you put forth your best effort. Just a quick lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushad on fear. Lord, one of the elect was edified. Fearing the Lord, Shalom.